this is the life. Beautiful sky, beautiful sea, the most beautiful boat. Is this another special from Los Angeles or Cannes? No, this is Britain and beautiful Bournemouth and more stars than you can shake a stick of rock at. Come here, sir. What is this all about? Ah, it's worse. <laughs> well, Ross, welcome to Bournemouth. Yes. Especially welcome to the Bournemouth Carnival Band. We have a great time. We like to, to perform to charities, to the children especially. They have a great time. They enjoy seeing us, and that's what it's all about. They have a great time, and we enjoy ourselves as well. But it's all grown men dressed up in lycra suits. Oh, why not, Ross? <laughs> why, why can't grown men dress up in lycra suits? <laughs> there should be a law against it. Good luck, though. You're doing a grand job. Splendid fellows, but absolutely howling mad. Bournemouth Pier and the end of the Pier show is alive, well, and kicking, as Ray Allen will testify. How are you, Rob? I'm well. Your show's going well. Yes, it is, yeah. But a lot of people think end of the Pier. I mean, it's old-fashioned, it's old hat. <laughs> well, you could say that, I suppose, in 20, 30 years' time about disco. <laughs> entertainment is entertainment wherever you have it. And it happens that there aren't that many Pier theatres left. I certainly like this one, because this is beautiful. And when you get inside a theatre on a pier, it's like being in any other theatre. The atmosphere is exactly the same, the show's the same. And um, the location doesn't really matter, except that you're in Bournemouth, which is beautiful, as you can see. But you've almost gone back to the old way, which is changing the shows. Yes, we, we wanted a change so that people could come here and see two different shows. They can come tonight and see one show and come tomorrow night and see another show. Uh, entirely different shows with the same company. And that is an old-fashioned idea, which, uh, which I've, I've believed for a long time is, is got to make a comeback. Because I think people get fed up with seeing one show and they've got nowhere else to go then, you know. They, it's nice to see the same company. If you like them, yeah. then you like the people, then you say, right, that's it, let's, let's go and see the show again. And it gives you a chance to show off your many, many talents. Ah, that's many that. talents. I mean, you, you, you play the uke, the old yes. ukulele? Yes, uke banjo, yes, I do, yes. Who was it taught you? George Formby. <laughs> when I was a lad, I was 14 when he taught me that. Oh, yes, and then uh, I do the Max Miller impression, because I started as an impressionist in my youth. And I started, well, it's an impressionist and magician, actually. I don't do any magic in this show, but I'm saving that for another time. Because you have worked with them all. You worked with Max Miller. I worked with Max Miller, yes, I did. There's never been anybody since. He used to say, there'll never be another lady, never be another. When I've gone, this game's had it. And he was right. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't another. No, the person that you have worked with, and, you know, with all due respect, Roy, I know you've worked with them all, Laurel and Hardy, Liberace, but I was hoping to meet Lord Charles because I've never met you know, a member of the nobility. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, dear. Well, that's your, your hard luck. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's your good luck, perhaps, in this case. He's over there chatting the girls up. Lord Charles, your lordship, any chance of a word? Oh, here we are, dear boy. Were we chatting the girls up? Yes, I was. <laughs> yeah. Who's this silly ass here? No, sh no, hang on a minute. This isn't Judy, is it? Where's Judy? Judy is not doing the show today. And it's not the other one, that silly ass, the, the gardener. Adam Titchmarsh, no, he's not doing it. This is Ross. Is it? Yes. Poor devil. Well, there you are. No, no, Ross King. King? Yes. Who agrees? Hello, my dear sir. Hello, Your Lordship. Nice to meet a chap with a title. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's lovely to meet you at last, Lord Charles. Um, have you been behaving yourself? Certainly not. <laughs> Who agrees? No. One comes to Bournemouth, you know, they have a jolly good time. 
And I'm having a lovely time. Do you know they make wine here? No, I didn't They've know. They've got their own vineyards. Yeah, you can shove off. I shan't need you for this. I'll talk to you. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yes, it's lovely here. Bournemouth, the Bournemouth Pier. That's where we are. Rhymes with pier or something. Anyway, <laughs> here we are. Well, I have to say that the local talent here, I mean, the, the young ladies here are quite superb. Yes, yeah. indeed. Now, unfortunately, I've got to leave here next week. Yes? Yes, we're going to Swindon. Oh, splendid. We're going there, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to Swindon next week, yes. Yes. With a show. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And um, I'm telling you this because you're intrigued me. Yes. You've well, got a face I rather like. Yes, actually, I, I was a bit worried that I'm a little underdressed for you here. Yes, I noticed you hadn't put a jacket on, but then there we are. I'm sorry about that. But well, yourself, you, I mean, as always, you look splendid, but why, at this <laughs> time of the day, are you wearing a dinner suit? Yes, because I thought I was meeting Judy and I was going to get her for an early dinner. <laughs> I shan't take you, though, if you oh, don't no. mind. No, 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 I don't think he will take no, you. No, no, it's, it's going to be rather no, sad, isn't nice it? Nice chat, but never mind. Pity about your face. Thank you very much. What's wrong with his face? It doesn't suit him. Mind you, it would look nice on somebody else. <laughs> Lovely. There we are. Yes, I'm going to see you in Swindon, am uh, I? No, he's not coming to Swindon. No. No, no, he's in Bournemouth. Is he really? Yes. Where am I? You're in Bournemouth at the moment. Am I? Yes. That's it. Bournemouth. Has yes. he been tippling already? Yeah, I think. You've been drinking? So have I. <laughs> <laughs> By Jove, there's nothing like it here. They look after you here in Bournemouth, you know? Sunshine and there's... Where's Judy? Is she not... <laughs> Where the devil is she? Where are you, Judy? S.O.S. Come back, all is forgiven. Lovely girl. You know she's married. How dare you? That's a nasty rumor put about by her husband. Yes, man's a swine. I shall have him for this. Taking her away from me when I knew all the time. Hello, my dear. What's your name? <laughs> You're nice. Oh, good. Another one. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Down and down and down and down and down. I wonder how many miles I've fallen by this time. I wonder if I will fall right through the earth. Down, 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 down! What's going on here? Hello, sir. Hello, what's going on? Tell oh, me. we're having a story. Oh, really? We're from the Alice in Wonderland maze opposite uh, Hearn Airport. All oh, right. Yes, and this is my very good friend Alice, sir. Of course. Hello, Alice. Hello, Alice. Nice to meet you. Yes. yes. And, and this is my very good friend, the white rabbit. I recognise the white rabbit. Oh, oh, rude little rabbit. Who is in fact quite late, actually. And you just performed down here for just for a laugh. Yes. Splendid. Right, carry on then. Carry oh, on. right. Sorry about that. Yes, sir. Oh, right. With his head. Ooh, cosy. Right, so what club do you recommend, Mike? Because, you know, I mean, I've got to get it over the water. Yeah. Avoid the bridge. There's a bank at the back as well. The wind. Yeah. What do you, what do you think? Three wood? No. What? Putter. Putter? Yeah. Well, it's crazy golf, isn't it? <laughs> Mike Osman, man of a thousand voices, all of them sounding similar. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what are you doing? Sorry, what mate. are you doing? I've got something stuck in my trousers. You're meant to be doing some impressions yeah, for well, us. Know, what I'm are you sorry, fiddling about? I don't know, I don't know. What are you doing? Oh, no, she's done the washing again, I don't believe it. <laughs> Souvenir. <laughs> now then, enjoying yourself here? Yeah, I love it here. This is where I first started my career. My first talent show was really? here in Bournemouth. I know I was doing things like Pavarotti in them days. Really? His latest song, Umuchis Shadow Doogie. And it goes like this. Umuchis Shadow Doggy in the window. <laughs> and Victor, there's a load of stars down really? here, you know. Really? Load of stars here for summer season. I saw Victor Meldrew went into a news agent. He said, God, I don't believe it. <laughs> God, God, God. Can I have some of your famous Bournemouth rock, please? It went one for the money, two for the chill, <laughs> three get ready. Right. This is serious stuff. Okay, there's money okay. on here. All get right. rid of me three wood then, since I just need my putter. Right. So there's money on this. Ah, oh, let's line okay, this Okay, we'll get Peter Alice to commentate on this. Then. Okay. Oh, up, 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 up. There he goes. There's Ross King. Ooh, up, 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 That's up, good. That's up, a difficult up. one. Yeah, it is. It's talent, Ross. Anyway. Something Ooh. I know nothing about. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, up, there we go then. Steady, steady, steady. Ooh, up, 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 up,
Oh, I don't believe it, Dale. I'm fed up. I want to better myself, don't I? I'm going to apply to be a solicitor. A solicitor, Rodders? You've got to have qualifications. Education, like what I had. You, Dale, educated? What did your geography teacher said? How this lad finds his way home from school, I'll never know. <laughs> all right, all right, saucy. Well, that was because I was dyslexic, wasn't it? And I didn't pass any CGSs. Well, I'm going to show you, brothers. I'm going to show you I'm going on mastermind. Ooh, I don't believe it. Oh, I can see it now. Name Del Boy. Specialist subject, Anorax. One ninety-nine to four ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> right, favourite impression, favourite impression. Favourite impression. Uh, I would have to say Jethro. Oh, yeah, Cornish yeah. comedian. Yeah, that's the one. He's been on the show, I think. He has, yeah. Yeah, I've got to say, Ross, lovely to see you. <laughs> Looking so good, lovely and tanned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor old Denzel Pemberthy. I don't know if you heard, but he, he went to the doctor. He ended well. He said, Doc, every time I touch my chest, oh, it hurts, he said. He said, every time I touch my cheek, he said, it really, really hurts. He said, every time I touch my elbow, oh, the pain, Doc. The doctor said, Denzel, you stupid fool, you broke your finger. <laughs> what about a new one? Are you working any new ones? Yeah, the latest one, because uh, I've been watching all the sports that are on at the moment, and uh, Chris Akabusi, oh, yeah. the runner. Yeah, like, you know, because, like, you really, you know, if you want to win medals, you know, you really, 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 really got that fast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's unbelievable, you know what I mean? Weren't you in a, a nude relay race once? Yeah, I did, like, I, I was running a nude relay, right? It was, like, unbelievable, like, I was running along, like, and I went, I went to the batting chain, right? And I went to the chain, I went, oh, no, 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 you got the wrong one! <laughs> <laughs> One way to get around Bournemouth is on a Harley Davidson and be driven by Buddy Holly. Or Martin Fisher to be a bit more exact, because you're here playing Buddy. That's right. The musical continues, the success of the musical continues, but it's not a typical seasidey kind of a show. It's not, no. I mean, it's a story and it's a true story about a man who wrote a lot of brilliant music. And we tell it with, uh, with scenes and with a lot of live music. There's I think, 18 songs in the show. And uh, it's got concerts in there. People can get up and dance, you know, whatever they like. Just you know why. Why you and I will by and by no true love ways. Sometimes we'll sigh. Sometimes. Just you and I, no true love way. Deck chairs, 60 pence, deck chairs. Hello, deck chairs. Hello. Sounds a good idea to me. Thank you. A bit of a seasonal job for you, I would say. Yeah, well, I suppose so. But, uh, you know, there's other things to do in the world as well. Really? Why? I mean, you must have a lot of time off. Well, yeah, during the winter I get, like, five months off and then I go off around the rest of the world. You go off around the world? Right. I mean, like, where? I mean, the whole world? Yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, as far as Australia, New Zealand. So you earn enough money... Well, you, you must work every hour, then? I work a lot of hours, yes. Yeah, sure. Really? Yes, yes. And then you go off and travel around the world? Right. Deck chairs, 60 pence, deck chairs, get your deck chairs, 60 pence. And that's it from beautiful Bournemouth. Thank you very much indeed to all my guests. How do I get home, though? See, I could only afford me a beautiful boat there for 10 minutes. Oh, well. Taxi! <laughs> <laughs>